Tale of the tape. Joe Joe Diaz Jr., 30 years old. Seems like he'd be older than that. He's been around forever. Five foot six with a 64-inch reach. Hesta will have a four-inch reach advantage. This one originally scheduled for 12 rounds. It is now just 10 rounds. Will that play a factor? Let's go into the ring now. Whoop, let's throw the rules before we go to Joe Martinez. No standing eight count here in California. No three knockdown rule. You can be saved by the bell in the last round only, and the doctor referee can stop the fight. Hesta, believe it or not, had no amateur boxing matches. All his background was in Muay Thai. Yeah, normally, when that's the case, uh, fighters don't really have that good of defense or footwork or upper body movement. They're, they're really stiff. But not Hesta. He's very athletic. And you can see the Dana Page out of the great Monty Pacquiao with his, with his uh, footwork. You know, he tries to, tries to get angles. And Hesta can be a dangerous fighter early. His last fight against Joel Diaz, he knocked him down twice in the first round. Yeah, that was kind of a, a shock performance, a shock win there for Hesta, who beat Joel Diaz Jr. by decision. But as Chris Mannix mentioned, two first round knockdowns. That was an impressive win by Hesta. He carries that momentum into this fight right here. And he's got, I mean, he's throwing a lot of punches in this first round. He wants to make sure he's getting this first round. Jojo Diaz, so much great experience against high-level competition. He's fought several champions, including Terrazas, Gary Russell Jr., Tevin Farmer, Devin Haney, Rakama. See right there, Jojo didn't let his hands go. He had Hesta against the ropes, where Hesta's looking to counter, so Jojo's respecting the counters and the speed of Hesta right now. Good body work from Jojo. Diaz being more active here in the third than he was in the first two rounds. There's still the, the lack of jab. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the jab. Oh, that one caught him. That one caught him from Diaz. Both of these men getting knockouts at about a 50% clip. 33 wins, 17 KOs for Hesta. 32 wins, 15 KOs for Jojo. Good body shot by Jojo. Good body shot from Jojo. Yeah, those body shots are slowing down the movement and the footwork of Hesta. You can see Hesta's not four rounds in, and he's not moving as much as he was in the early th three rounds. Jojo doing a lot of stalking right now, but not much praying. Good left there from Hesta. Just kind of pity padding right now. Good body shot there from Hesta. This is more of a chess match round. The last one was more of a brawl. Chris, how do you have it scored through four rounds? I've got three rounds to one in favor of of Hesta, but you see Jojo Diaz, when he has him against the ropes like this, that's where he has look, a big advantage. Look at Jojo teeing off. Big shots by Jojo right there on the corner. Both these guys aren't big punchers, but accumulation of two and three shots like that will hurt anybody. No jabs from Jojo. He's just following around Hesta, and this is when you got to give Hesta credit for boxing and using the ring. It's moving laterally. Yeah, the jab's never been a big part of Jojo Diaz's arsenal, but throwing more punches, accuracy, that's what's made him successful over the years. Look, he outlanded Devin Haney in jabs, and Devin Haney has one of the best jabs in boxing, so that's what he's going to need against a fighter like Hester. He's going to want to slow him down. There's a sharp jab from Jojo. Either way, Jojo's got some work to do. And he's trying to do it here in the seventh. I like Jojo getting off to a good start in this round, applying the pressure early, letting his hands go, and he's got Hesta on the ropes. 
Well, Chris, how do you have your unofficial scorecard looking like? Very close, 59-50, well, very close to some of these rounds, but 59-55 in favor of Mercito Hesta. I think his activity has been a difference maker in this fight. Well, there you go, Chris. Uh, Sergio, five rounds to one, like I said. Depending on where you look, Diaz Jr. was about an eight to one favorite in this one, Sergio. I can't believe that. I mean, no respect for Hesta, and, and, and Hesta's proving him wrong so far. It's the footwork and it's the movement that, that I'm impressed with Hesta. He's not standing in front of JoJo too long to get anything back. Yeah, I was just talking to Marvin Simodio, the trainer for Mercito Hesta. He said, speed, 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 and then move. Stick and move. He doesn't want him in one spot trading punch with JoJo Diaz. And that's exactly what's giving JoJo issues. You know, JoJo's a lot more flat-footed. And the only time he gets off is when Hesta's against the ropes. The crowd responds. Good round here for Diaz. Can he keep up this output? He's going to have to in a close competitive fight. I mean, this is what's going to matter. There's no championship rounds in a 10 round fight, so this is it. Ninth and 10th. And they're still snapping the punches of Jojo Diaz. So if we were worried or questioning his conditioning, he's answering our questions here. Because he's, he's coming forward and putting the combinations on Hesta. And cutting off the ring nicely now. Hesta was being able to move th through the entire parameter of the ring. Jojo's taking that away now. The corner of Hesta telling him to get out. Get out. There's a digging right hand by Diaz. And when he had the legs under him and moving like he is right now, it made it really difficult for JoJo to get it back. But both these guys are tired, both of them laying it all on the line right here. One minute. Fantastic effort from both of these fighters who said, respectively, this was the biggest fight of their lives. Hesta having a pretty good final okay, round, but there's Diaz the right there going. in front of him. He's been in front of him, and that's the thing. And in a close fight like that, a lot of judges like the fighter that's coming forward. And if that's the case, Jojo's been coming forward looking for, for the punches this entire fight, mostly. Some of these rounds could come down to, do you like the pressure or do you like the activity? Stop. Take a step back. Listen. Listen. Big left hand there from Hesta. <laughs> what do you think? Who do you have? Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of life, we go to the scorecards one more time. Long Beach, put your hands together for both of these super lightweight warriors. Pam Hayashida scores it, 97-93, Diaz. Alejandro Rochin, 99-91, Hesta. And Pat Russell scores his belt, 98-92 for your winner by split decision from San Diego, California. Mercito, no mercy. I don't know what, I mean, Pat Russell gave 98-92 to Hesta. I, I don't know what to say there, but I, I don't hate on the fact that Hesta won this fight. I just don't like the scorecards and the wide margin. 99-91, 98-92, I just don't see that. What is that? Take him on the greatest evil. Well, take strength, magic, and... 
What is that again? It's an owl bear. I don't want to see you die, which is why I'm going to leave the room. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, March 31st.